Hi. This video is going to go through using Scrivener's compile feature to create a structured outline. In this project, we've got binder documents at various levels, including folders and text documents, with each text document having a synopsis associated. If we go into Outline View and press Command 9, you can see the structured outline that we ultimately want to achieve by compiling. So, straight to File Compile and we'll start with Format As set to Original, which is always a good starting position, and expand into All Options. Within Separators, I am going to choose an empty line between each text document and folder arrangement. Moving to our formatting options, we don't want the text associated with our binder documents as we only want to create an outline of our Scrivener project. We do need our synopses though, and we're also going to include our document titles for every level. We want the formatting to be the same for each, with the title and synopsis text aligned to the left, using Helvetica 12 point. We're going to have single line spacing and underline the title. If we go to Edit Copy whilst on the binder level we just configured, we will copy the formatting for that level. We can then simply Edit Paste that formatting onto the other document types for the corresponding level. We should maybe think about our header and footer, which are under Page Settings. We're going to change the font for each to match our title and synopsis font, which is Helvetica 12 point. We're also going to add Scrivener after our project title within the header, the project title being Structured Outline. Let's compile and see how that turns out for us. If we open the generated PDF in preview, you can see that all our documents have their title and synopsis included along with our specified header and footer. Let's try and improve on this output though by going back into formatting. We'll go to level 1 plus for folders and add a prefix by pressing the level settings button. I'm going to add hierarchical numbering to my titles by going to edit, insert, auto number, hierarchical. I will add a space after it and we're done with the prefix. As a suffix for my title, I'm going to add a colon with a space. Within the Title Appearance tab, I'm going to tick the Insert Title as Run In Head option. What this will do is shift the synopsis text to appear straight after the relevant document title. We will then have the colon and space suffix followed by our document synopsis. Remember to change the title suffix and prefix to Helvetica 12 point before copying and pasting those settings across to the other document type levels using Command C and Command V as we did before. And compile. Now you can see that we have hierarchical numbering to match our binder structure. This binder document is 1.1, this is 1.1.1, .1 .1, 1.2, and so on. Our synopses now also follow on directly from the relevant document title. What else can we improve? How about indenting the outline to match our Scrivener binder? Back into formatting, and let's add another level by pressing here. This level 1 formatting gets applied to any folders at level 1 in the draft. Level 2 formatting, basically the subdocuments of level 1, will get applied to any relevant documents at level 2, and so on. The plus in this case indicates that any binder folders indented further than level 2 will continue to use the formatting configured here. What we are going to do for level 2 is indent things a bit, slightly past a quarter of an inch. We then hit Command C to copy that. Add another level here for this binder document type and paste our settings. And do the same again for level 2 text documents in Scrivener's binder. We've got three levels in our binder, so we need to create one more level. 
As you can see, the newly created level uses the previous level's settings by default. So we're simply going to indent this a little further at around half an inch. Then create other levels where appropriate and copy and paste our formatting into each. Each level now indents our title and synopsis further as we get to a deeper binder document level. And compile. Using the compile feature, we now have a structured outline showing our document titles and synopses. You can clearly see the correlation between our binder and compiled outline. Obviously having gone to the effort of creating a structured outline, you'll want to save the compile configuration as a preset. Go to Format As, Manage Compile Format Presets, click the plus button, give it a title, My Structured Outline, and it will now be available to you within Format As for any Scrivener project. That concludes our video on configuring compile in Scrivener to produce a structured document outline. Thanks for watching.